For number 14, determine the standard form of equation of the circle given its center negative 2, 7, and radius is equal to 4. So these are the choices. Okay, for the solution, the equation of the circle whose center is at the point HK and with radius is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. So these are the given. Center is negative 2, 7 and the radius is 4. For the h, we have negative 2 and k, we have 7. Then substitute the given to the formula x minus negative 2 square plus y minus 7 square is equal to 4 square. Then x minus negative 2 that is x plus square plus y minus 7 square is equal to 16. Dahil ang 4 square is equal to 16. The answer is letter C. Number 15. Find the coordinates of the focus of the parabola given the equation y square is equal to 28x, a 12, 0, b 7, 0, c negative 12, 0, and d negative 7, 0. Okay, these are the characteristics of parabola with vertex at the origin. So, dito, ang, give, ang kailangan lang naman natin is the focus and equation. So, ito lang yung sinama ko. Pero, pag inatol nyo siya, marami pang characteristics ang parabola. So, parabola with horizontal axis of symmetry, we have the equation y squared is equal to 4px. And parabola with vertical axis of symmetry, we have x squared is equal to 4py. And for the focus, we have the ordered pair p0 and the other one is 0p. So the focus is unknown and then a given equation is y squared is equal to 28x. So the equation y squared is equal to 28x is in the form y squared is equal to 4px. So ito yung gagamitin nating formula since pareho sila y squared. So, napapansin nyo, 4p and 28. So, they are equal because of the formula. 4p dito ay 28. So, we have 4p is equal to 28. And then, get the value of p. To get the value of p, we need to divide both sides by 4 para makancel itong 4 dito. So, cancel 4. And then, 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Since our P is equal to 7, then, ang gagamitin natin ay ito. So, dahil ang ginamit nating formula is Y square is equal to 4PX, ang gagamitin nating ordered pair is P0. So, the answer is 7, 0. Since the value of P is 7, so we have 7, 0. The answer is letter B. Next, number 16. Determine the equation of a parabola with vertex at the origin and the focus as a coordinate 5, 0. A, y squared is equal to 5x. B, x squared is equal to 20y. C, x squared is equal to 5y. And D, y squared is equal to 20x. So, ang given dito is the focus. Okay. So, again, let's use this formula and ordered pair of focus. Okay. A parabola with focus at 5, 0 has an equation of the form y square is equal to 4px with p is equal to 5. So, bakit y square is equal to 4px yung ginamit natin? Because, yung focus natin is 5, 0. So, dito, same sila nito. Nitong ordered pair na to. And not this one because dito nauna yung 0. So, ito yung kapareho niya, 5, 0. So, dahil nandito siya sa column na to, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Y, y squared is equal to 4px. And then, our p, this one, our p is equal to 5. Thus, the equation is y squared is equal to 4. And then, substitute the value of p to the formula, we have 4 times 5x. Then, the final answer is y square is equal to 20x. The answer is letter D. 
Next, number 17. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the hyperbola whose center is at 0, 0 given the equation x squared over 4 minus y squared over 12 is equal to 1. A, positive negative 2, 2. B, positive negative 2, 0. C, 2, positive negative 2. And D, 0, positive negative 2. Okay, so this is the characteristics of the hyperbola. So, same non, same sa parabola. Marami din mong characteristics ang hyperbola. So, for the equation, hyperbola with foci on the x-axis, we have the equation x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. And then, hyperbola with foci on the y-axis, we have y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, the equation x squared over 4 minus y squared over 12 is equal to 1 is of the form x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So, ito yung gagamitin natin since pareho sila. Nauna ang x squared. So, ito yung unahin natin. Ito yung gagamitin. Where a squared is equal to 4. So, paano natin nalaman na yung a squared is equal to 4? Because... Same sila ng formula. So, saan po ba nakalagay yung a square? X, uh, a square is the denominator of x square. So, nakuha natin yung a square using this one. The denominator of x square is 4. So, nakuha natin a square is equal to 4. So, how to get a? So, para makuha si a, we need to get the square root both sides. So, the square root of 4 is 2. And then, nakuha na natin ngayon yung value ng a. Gagamitin natin ngayon yung uh, ordered pair ng ating vertex, which is this one. Dahil ito yung ginamit nating formula, ito ang gagamitin nating ordered pair for the vertex. So, we have positive negative a, 0. And then, substitute 2 to a. So, we have positive negative 2, 0. The answer is letter B. Next, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic series given a sub 1 is equal to 5 and a sub 10 is equal to 68, a 125, b 360, c 365, and d 240. So the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is this one. This formula or this one. S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Or S sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2 multiplied by a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the nth term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. So S sub 10, the sum of the first 10 terms is unknown. So, yun yung kailangan din hanapin. And then, the given is a sub 1 and a sub 10. So, based on this given, ang gagamitin natin formula ay ito. We have a sub 1a. We have a sub 1 and a sub n. So, substitute the given to the formula we have n. Our n is 10. So, this one. 10 divided by 2 times 5 plus 68. So, 5 plus 68 is 73 times 5. The answer is 365. It is letter C. Next, find the sum of the first 6 terms of the geometric sequence 3, negative 6, 12. A, negative 63. B, negative 60. C, 83. And D, negative 74. So, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1 over R minus 1. Where A sub 1 is the first term and R is the ratio. And R must not be equal to 1. So, the sum of the first 6 terms is unknown. The given is a sub 1, 3, and the ratio is negative 2. So, paano natin nakuha yung ating ratio? So, ganito lang po yung gagawin. I-multiply or i-divide mo yung uh, 
number na nasa kanan doon sa kanyang kaliwa. For example, negative 6 divided by 3. The answer is negative 2. Or pwede rin natin gamitin yung 12 divided by negative 6. Same lang sila ng ratio. So, the answer is negative 2. So, ganun lang yung pagkuha ng ratio. I-divide mo lang yung uh, nasa kanan dun sa kaliwa. Okay, substitute. The given, we have 3 times negative 2 raised to 6 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 1. And then, the answer is negative 63. That is letter A. Next, find the derivative of y is equal to 22x raised to 4. A for x raised to 22. B for x cubed. C, 88x cubed. And D, 22x cubed. Okay, for the solution, we have, we need to get the derivative of 22x raised to 4. So, for the derivative, we have dy over dx. 22 is the constant. And then, to find the derivative of x raised to 4, we need to use the power rule sa ating uh, derivative. So, we have, paano po ba makukuha ang derivative ng x raised to 4? So, ang kailangan mo lang gawin, the exponent, you need to transpose it dito para maging base. So, ililipat mo lang siya. And then, paano makukuha yung exponent? Always, magma-minus tayo ng 1. So, the derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x raised to 4 minus 1. So, dahil uh, coefficient na ngayon yung ating 4, kailangan natin siyang i-multiply din sa ating constant, which is 22. So, 22 times 4, that is 88. And then, always po, yung ating exponent, lagi mga minus ng 1, we have 4 minus 1, then our exponent is 3. So, the derivative of 22x raised to 4 is equal to 88x cubed. The answer is letter C.